A very good day to you people. My name is Mohit and guys today I'm going to talk about uh, the slider or the blinds behavior in Dreamweaver. Guys, uh, this project may be very useful to you. I haven't seen this uh, being replicated on YouTube before. So, uh, it may come across as something very very useful that you've been looking for a very long time. Let me hit on uh, the create new HTML button guys. And then what I'm going to do is, let me shrink this a uh, bit to the right okay let me give get in a div tag guys I'm gonna say insert layout objects div tag uh, next I want to give my div an ID <coughs> so uh, I'll call it uh, bottom div because I will be placing this div tag at the bottom of the page so I'll be calling it bottom div okay Next, I'll click on the new CSS rule button. So I will want to atta attach uh, certain rules to this uh, div that I'm uh, making right now, that I'm creating right now. I'm going to say OK. Next, what I'll do is I'll give it a background color first. Uh, I'll go with my favorite. That's a hash triple three. Right. Next, I will uh, come down to the box category and give it a width of 100%. Uh, percent. I would want it to occupy the flush, uh, the entire screen from the left edge to the right edge. So that'll be 100%. And the height will be, let's say, 30 to 5, 150 pixels. All right. So I'm going to say apply. So the div is taking shape, guys. Uh, next, what I'll do is I'll go to the positioning category. Guys, this div that I'm creating, I would want it to be positioned right at the bottom of the page. At the pit. Okay. So this can be accomplished by making the div of the type fixed. And then I'll need to tuck it to the left bottom corner so that'll be uh, the placement will be bottom zero pixels and left zero pixels then I'm gonna say okay and okay once again then let's take a preview in uh, let's say Chrome I'm prompted to save the changes which I will and then uh, let me call it uh, slider behavior and uh, I'll save the file guys as you can see the div has been tucked right at the bottom of the the web page and it's flushing uh, the entire area from left to the right let me close uh, the browser up and go back to Dreamweaver guys next what I wish to do is I need to give it uh, the slider behavior okay I would want that when it loads it should shrink to one fifth the size and when somebody clicks on it it should rise up once again and then it should have a toggle effect it should go up and down with the click that's what I'm looking to do Guys, what I'll do next is I'll be clicking in the body area in the code view. Let me expand the code view uh, just a little bit. Okay. So anywhere in the body uh, tag, that's where I need to click. And then um, I need to go to... I'm looking for behaviors tab that's under the tag inspector. Guys, I'm using the classic view. And under the tag inspector, I have... Uh, a small tab which says behaviors uh, that's where I need to go then I need to add a behavior for which I'll need to click on this plus button thereafter I'll go to effects and then I'll choose blind okay very good next uh, dream viewer is asking me which is your target element now my target element is the div that I've just created it's called the bottom div okay and uh, Dreamweaver is also asking me what is the effect duration? How 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 many uh, you know seconds or milliseconds do you want the effect to last? I'll say one second. I'll go with the default one thousand milliseconds. All right. So I would want it to last for one second, and then I would want it to shrink. So I would say blind down from a hundred percent to uh, the twenty percent. What what this will do is um, when the web page loads the div guys will uh, shrink to one fifth the size so from 150 pixels it should drop down to just 30 pixels let me say okay and then guys if you notice uh, in the behaviors panel right now the default is on click I'll change it to let's go with the on load so when the page loads all right guys now notice that uh, there's some javascript being written here in the code view it says body on load and then uh, there's some code let's see how this code affects this div now so i'm going to take a preview in chrome i'm going to save the changes all right 
Dreamweaver will copy dependent files and create a folder called spry assets and wherein it will save the spry um, effects.js javascript file. I'm going to say okay to uh, you know save the dependent file and guys as you notice the div shrunk to the bottom of the page further and reduced by uh, one fifth the size so from 150 pixels it's actually dropped down to 30 pixels wonderful okay let me go back in fact let me close the browser up now guys what I want to do is I want that when somebody clicks on the div it should open up once again all right and uh, and when he or she clicks again it should go back down so it should be a yin yang uh, motion that's what uh, I'm looking to do so up and down up and down and that's the, the motion that I'm looking to do now so what I'll do is guys this time I'll not keep the cursor in the body area or the body tag instead I'll be choosing uh, my div all right I'll, I'll be click in fact let me just choose the the div ID the opening and the closing div tags let me highlight that and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going back to the behaviors panel I'm gonna click on this plus button I'm gonna change uh, you know I'm gonna choose effects and then I'm gonna say blind once again this time the target element will be the same will be the bottom div okay the effect duration will still stay the same that's uh, 100 milliseconds now this time I would want it to blind up but from a hundred percent to a five hundred percent see guys uh, it'll not be from a twenty to a hundred because it's already shrunk it's already shrunk to uh, 30 pixels now I would want the 30 to go up by five times that is uh, regain its shape so it should rise up by five hundred percent please don't say um, twenty to a hundred percent you will see that the code uh, will not work properly okay so it's always a hundred to a five hundred percent so it should grow up five times the div should grow up five times and I'm gonna check this uh, toggle effect what the toggle effect will do when you click once it will blind up when you click you know, again it will blind down so on and so forth so I'm gonna choose this toggle effect very very important you need to do that then, uh, then I'm gonna say okay and then let me take a preview before I take a preview let me just put here slider effect rather it's a blind effect blind effect all right let me take a preview in Chrome now here it comes Ooh, very good so it's shrunk to uh, one fifth the size I'm gonna click on it it rises up I'm gonna click again it goes down again up and down again wonderful now guys this is a feature that um, I, I hope uh, so many guys are looking to do on their projects uh, so I hope you like this tutorial guys uh, more will be coming uh, from me in the uh, near future. I'll see you once again. Bye-bye. Ciao.